Simple Cyber Defense Security Updates for January 16th, 2021. Welcome back to Simple Cyber Defense. In this week's episode, we're going to be talking about three major critical vulnerabilities in Ubiquiti devices, uh, Windows devices, and Firefox and Chrome. So let's begin. Ubiquiti users have gotten the following email. It says, Dear customers, we recently became aware of unauthorized access to certain parts of our information technology systems hosted by a third-party cloud provider. We have no indications that there has been unauthorized activities with respect to any user's account. We are not currently aware of evidence of access to any databases that host user data, but we cannot be certain that user's data has not been exposed. This data may include name, email addresses, and one-way encrypted passwords to your account. In technical terms, the passwords are hashed and salted. The data may include your address and phone number if you have not provided if you've provided it to us. As a precaution, we encourage you to change your passwords. We recommend that you also change your password on any websites where you're you where you use the same user ID and password. Finally, we recommend that you enable two factor authentication on your Ubiquity accounts if you have not done so already. Ubiquity is a network equipment and IoT device vendor. They range from things like routers to uh, wireless protocols and even IoT devices which is called Internet of Things devices. Little devices like doorbells and surveillance cameras that will connect to the internet so that people can use their cell phones to just update things and see what's going on in their devices. Now, with this little email that Ubiquity sent out is very concerning because a lot of user data is now exposed. If you have Ubiquity devices, like it says, I would urge you to just change passwords and put on two-factor authentications and hopefully you're not using the same password to other devices to other accounts if you are please please use password managers as said in my password password uh, video earlier you should never use the same password on multiple accounts but this here is a interesting development because even though Ubiquity says that there hasn't had any um, knowledge of unauthorized access doesn't mean that that may not happen in the future so definitely secure your devices by making sure that any patches or updates are applied and changing passwords and even if it's just Wi-Fi passwords, change every single password on your accounts and on your devices that you can. This will limit your exposure for the hackers so that the data that they do have, they can't use to get access to your network and then access to your computers and steal your files and whatever. Ubiquity is not really sure how this data breach occurred, but they are doing an investigation. And another thing that kind of is interesting to say is home addresses and phone numbers may have been exposed, but only if the users decided to configure the information into the portal. So this will question whether you should put in personal information into your devices and that's up to you. 
personally, I would try to limit how much personal information each company has because data breaches are very susceptible and will happen far into the future. So in my opinion is if they're not requiring it, do not put in the personal information. Give them as little as possible and that way the less information they have, the less information will be exposed. Other than that, there's not much that could have been done to prevent this on the user end. So just remember to change passwords, put on two-factor authentication, and make sure everything is up to date. And that should prevent you from becoming a victim of any attacks being used from this data breach. Next up is Microsoft. So this month in their patch Tuesday, they have released patches that will uh, mitigate 83 vulnerabilities across a wide range of products. A lot of these bugs will give users remote access to your computers. And it is pretty nasty of how much power that these bugs will give the attackers. Microsoft said that despite exploitations being detected in the wild, the technique is not functional in all situations and is still considered to be a proof of concept level. However, the code could could evolve for more reliable attacks. To counter future attacks, Microsoft has released patches for Microsoft Malware Protection Engine, which wouldn't require any user interaction and will be installed automatically unless spec specifically blocked by the system administrators. So just make sure that you keep your Microsoft Windows machines up to date because these are very powerful bugs that have been mitigated. All of these bugs are Microsoft Windows operating system bugs. Some of these are also Microsoft Office and looks like some of the web developers tools also and some emulations and printer drives. Takeaway here is to just make sure your Windows machines and software is up to date because obviously Microsoft Windows products are going to be filled with many many vulnerabilities and luckily they are keeping up to date with their patches and just make sure that you keep your machines up to date also. And finally now we talk about web browsers. Firefox, Chrome, and basically anything that is not Safari has severe bugs that will allow hackers remote system hijacking, which means that they will have complete control over your system. Now this is not limited to just computers. This is also for mobiles and tablets. So if every any web browser that you have, please update your browser immediately because these bugs are severe and will allow attackers to complete have complete control over your system through these bugs. Luckily, the patches are out there, so all you have to do is just seek them out and apply them to your to your machine and your browser will be safe. This concludes this week's security updates. It seems like this week has a common theme and most of these bugs will resolve in, be resolved by updating and keeping up to date to patches. So if you haven't done already, please update your devices immediately and we'll see you in the next episode. If you like what was in this episode, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing with others. For more information, to suggest a topic, or to donate, head over to simplecyberdefense.com.